Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo. And today I'm gonna to share with you guys how you're able to create your own personal cloud storage at home. So right now what I'm using is the Western Digital My Cloud Home Personal Cloud. Mine is four terabytes in terms of storage, but there's a bunch of different sizes you can choose. There's two terabyte, six terabyte, eight terabyte, 12, 16 and 20 terabyte. Now I have this one set up with basically every smartphone that I've ever had in the last couple of years, as well as my wife's and also all of the tablets. And if you wanted to, you can still plug in your computer and laptop. Now I mostly just use it for all of our smartphones because we have multiples of those. And if you wanted to, yes, you can back up your computers or you'd be able to add in videos, documents, pictures, things like that from your computer. So this way it is on that cloud that you're able to add access from your smartphone. So first what I want to do is show you what the application will look like. Then I'm going to show you what this looks like on amazon.com. So you can take a look at the product itself, which I will be linking below the video inside the description. And then we'll head over into the website version of this application. So you can see what that user interface looks like as well. So first off, the benefit of having your own personal cloud at home is the fact that you don't have to pay those monthly and yearly fees. You purchase the unit one time and that is it. It sits at your home for many years to come. So first let's take a look at the application. The first tab on the very top is gonna to be files and folders. So for files and folders, you're able to create and set these ones up. Uh, I do have a bunch of backups for some of my smartphones that I have. I have like a YouTube folder that I uploaded a few videos from the computer itself. So this way I can access it here on my phone. If you go inside of here, this is all of the pictures that you have it's going to show you everything that you've taken for you know per month for every single year so now we're in october of 2022 here is september of 2022 and then this last tab on the very top is your albums tab so this way you can be more organized you can categorize things put them in albums you can also share albums with other people you can see this one here this one was for the wife and i shared it with her because she also has her phone set up as well the cool thing about it is that every user that you have set up with this cloud storage, you can't see anybody else's data. So everything that I have backed up, my wife is not able to see. Uh, and everything that the wife has, I'm not able to see anything except for if she wants to share anything with me. Now going back to the second tab, because this is the one that's pretty important, it's gonna show you all of the images that you have. Again, all of the smartphones that you have, all of your tablets, you have everything back up. You can turn on auto backup or you can have it off and you can select things manually. So right here, you can take a look at everything in terms of everything or you can only take a look at photos or if you only want to search through your videos the next thing is you can change how it looks so by tapping that next tab if you want your images to look a little bit different you know if you take them in horizontal or vertical and then this right here is going to be able to break down the month and the year so if you know for a fact that there is something that you took back in 22 you or, or uh, back in 2020 that you want to take a look at maybe there's some images back in 2021 you want to take a look at so here is september of 2021 that's loading. So I'd be able to take a look at everything I did if there's something particular that I'm taking a look at. So maybe this is a picture that's very, very important. When you tap on it, you can share the image, you can add it uh, to an album, you can save this once your mobile device. So maybe you have a brand new phone, maybe this is your favorite photo, you can save it to your device. And then inside of more, you can do all of that, plus take a look at all of the info. You can see you know, who has access to it, which is only me. You can see what phone took the picture, uh, when it was uploaded, things like that. And then the other thing that you also have is gonna be this little check mark. So this is kind of a organize and, and choose files. So if there are particular things that you wanna add into a folder, maybe there's things that you wanna share or you wanna do a mass delete, you hit on that delete button uh, and then you're able to get rid of those things, organize, stuff like that. If you wanna go right back to where we were, which is November of 2022, this is where we're sitting. So now let's take a look at the application that you wanna download for this to work. So you just wanna go inside of your Play Store or App Store, you wanna search for My Cloud Home. It's a free application that's made by Western Digital. You just wanna get it downloaded and installed and then you just set everything up. Now the setup process of this is super, super simple. I mean, really it's just a power cord as well as the landline plugged in. You also have a USB in the back. So this way, if you wanted to plug in a flash drive or whatever and you wanted to add stuff in that way, uh, you're 
able to do that as well. Now on the top left hand side, this is where you can see a bunch of things. So you can import photos manually if you wanted to. You can do more, which just means you're able to learn other things. Uh, and then you can also copy a USB. There's a bunch of other images that is being able to be backed up right now. So there's 374 left. These are just screenshots. This is a new backup folder that I just selected. Uh, so this way you'd be able to see that something is going to back up. Uh, if you go inside of the settings, this is where you can go through the settings. You can set up a passcode. So this way, because it is an application on your phone, if people are looking at your phone and you don't want them to go through your cloud, just set up a passcode and then you can set up your fingerprint. Now inside of here, we're gonna tap on My Cloud Home. So with inside of the My Cloud Home, this is gonna show you the users as well as how much space is available. So you can see that we have a four terabyte of storage and the space available is 3.45, but we have two users. We have myself as well as my wife. Now taking a look at the two users, you can see that I have used uh, about 4.1% of the four terabytes. The wife has used 5.7% of the four terabytes. So I have only used 157 gigs. She has used 220 gigs. So it's really fun that you can have all of these different users, but never be able to see what they are uploading. And so that just makes it very private for yourself. Because again, this is your personal cloud. I just happen to have this unit sitting at home that I can add multiple users where everybody can back up. Now through here, you can also reboot as well as do erase all data. Now on the rest of this settings page, you can see the auto backups right now. We have it turned on. If I wanted to, I can actually turn off the auto backup and then I can do things manually. Now, when you turn on the auto backup, this is where you can select what you would like to back up. So right now, DCIM, this is pretty much all of my images that I take with the camera. Now, any of those images that maybe you save from Facebook is right here. Maybe if you have a folder that you specifically created on your phone called Florida, then you'd be able to do that. Halo package, one. So these are just different folders that I personally created on my device. You also have screenshots and that's actually the one that I just selected to show you what it looked like if ones were updating or uploading. So I'm just going to turn those off because I don't really need screenshots. They're not as important. If there are screenshots that I need to have, I can just manually input them. But here you can scroll through and you can see what you're able to uh, automatically up update or uh, a backup onto your storage device. And you can either do it on Wi-Fi, which that is the original normal setup, but if you want to do it with the cellular backup, you can actually turn on cellular backup. So this way you're always backing up all of your photos, all of your videos, all of the time. So even if, or I should say, even when your storage cloud is sitting at home, which is where it's going to be, you'd be able to be out and about in a completely different city, state, country. As long as you have that, you, as long as you have cellular, anything that you have taken photos of, it'll be able to automatically back up. So you don't have to be at home for your machine at home to have it all back up. So that's everything I wanted to show you with the application side of things. You can take a look and specifically look for photos, specifically look for videos. You'd be able to change the way it looks as well as take a look at something from a few months ago or even a few years ago. Here's the three little tabs. You have your files and folders. Uh, here's all of the photos and stuff. Here's albums you can create to organize everything. The very top left hand side, uh, we already took a look at all of the settings that you need to take a look at. And that's pretty much really about it. So here we are on the Amazon page. This is the Western Digital 4 terabyte My Cloud Home Personal Cloud. Mine is a single drive white. If you wanted to and get more storage, you can go with the Duo drive. They have 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, and 20 terabyte. Uh, but again, I have that single drive. The 4 terabyte was fine for us. Again, we're not even close to even filling this thing up. I don't even think we're at 10% just yet. Uh, and so with this one for single, you can go for two, four, six, and eight. Uh, the price is very, very great when you think about the fact that you don't have to pay monthly fees or anything like that, uh, like all the other cloud services. And this is just one sitting at home. You can just fully customize everything as you've seen, uh, take a look at it all. So it has really good reviews. I love this thing. I wouldn't be shooting a video if I wouldn't want to suggest it. So because I do suggest it, I'm just going to share it with you guys. It's what I've been doing for the last couple of years. So I will be placing this link below the video inside of the description. Now we're going to take a look at the website version. So really it's the same UI. All you have to do is just go to home.mycloud.com 
and you just go through and you sign in. Now, once you sign in, this is the user interface right here on your computer. So here's your files and folders. As you scroll on down, you know, you can take a look at any of these things that you have created. I have music in there, a couple videos in there. Here's that shared uh, folder right here of girls night. Here is a drawing. So this was something that I have edited, created on the computer, but I put it in this folder so I can access it on my phone. Let's take a look at all the photos. So this is everything that you just got done seeing on the phone application version. Here Here's all of the photos. Here's just only the videos if that's what you would like to go for. And then you also have your date and time. So if you wanted to go through, find something specific, you'd be able to do that. You can also do a search and that's really where it comes in handy if you wanted to go inside of here and then you want to add in descriptions. So albums, exactly what we saw on the phone as well. Shared if you would like to share something or if, or let's say if someone shared something with me. So if the wife created a album and she shared it with me, this is where I'd be able to see it. On her end of things, when she goes to shared, that is where she's able to find her girl's night out. If we go inside of the settings, so inside of the settings, pretty much looking like the uh, the application. So you have your first name, last name, email. You can also change the email, reset the password, as well as sign out. You can also add a user, same thing on the application. And when you go inside of the Jimmy's My Cloud Home, this is where you'd be able to take a look at the details of the, uh, the hard drive itself. So here you can see that the connection type here is local. We've only used uh, a little bit of the storage. So our space available is 3.45 terabyte, still free. So we've only used 0.55 terabyte, which is not a lot at all when you can when you consider all of the smartphones that we have at home as well as the tablets. This is where you can change the name of your unit if you wanted to. Uh, here you can have the analytics on or off. Then you also have the users area. So this way if you wanted to add more users, I feel like I will be adding in my son at some point. He's a little too young right now, even though he has a smartphone every day, but all of his random photos doesn't need to be on here. When he gets a little bit older, everything is much, much more important to him. Uh, we'll be able to add him in as a user as well. This is where you can manage the device, device logs, reboot the device, shut it down, erase all data, and then you can also detach from the device itself. So that's pretty much it for this unit here. This is everything I wanted to show off. I showed you the Amazon page if you want to take a look at it and purchase it. Showed you what it looked like on the website as well as what it looks like on your phone as, a, as an application. So if you have a bunch of smartphones, if you have a bunch of tablets, you're tired of paying all of those monthly fees of, of you know the Google backup or Samsung backup, whatever it may be, any of those cloud services, if you're just tired of paying those fees, you might as well buy the unit one time and have it for many, many years, getting everything all backed up. Again, you can always go back in time, select an image, you'll be able to download it to your device, uh, and that's pretty much what's the most important. And really, you always just wanna go back to it if you wanna take a look at it. And if you ever want to add in more storage, all you'd have to do is buy another unit, you can add it to it, so this way you have two of them plugged in, or you'd be able to transfer everything from one to the other if you're getting one that's much, much bigger. I just highly suggest buying one more that's maybe the same size. So if you buy four terabyte today, maybe in 10 years, you might need to buy another one. Then you just go through and purchase another personal cloud yourself. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.